Evening, everyone. Uh, today I'm uh, talking about a probabilistic model for code progression analysis. This work is a collaboration with Matthias Mar, uh, who were working in LSP just before the earthquake. Uh, so, in conventional studies, uh, sequ sequences of code wrappers have been dealt with for sequential modeling. This is analogous with natural language processing because, first, uh, Code writers are assumed to correspond to words in sentences. On the other hand, in this study, we propose a probabilistic model over note structures. This is a unified simultaneous and sequential model over two dimensional note locations. And in this study, please note that we assume code boundaries are given in advance. Here are backgrounds of our study. Code progression analysis is the basis of wide applications in the field of MIR. Code patterns used <laughs> in musical pieces are closely related to journals and composer styles. And such analysis is very important as language modeling for code recognition and music transcription. So, Sequential code progression analysis. Uh, in, in such analysis, the, we aim to train an n-gram model that can predict a next code given precedent, precedent codes called a context. This is a standard problem, problem specification. Here, now, we assume n is equal to 3, and we have such training data, c major, f major, g major, something like that. By using this data, <coughs> our goal is to estimate trigram probability distribution, PW1, W2, W, for any code triplet contained in a code vocabulary. Now, we assume the code vocabulary is give, given in advance by humans. And now, we assume the vocabulary consists of conventional code levels, such some such as C major, C minor. And there are two critical issues about training and gram models. The first issue is about context length. In other words, the value of P should be able to vary according to precedent codes. Because there are various code patterns that have different code lengths. However, the problem is that the value of n is unknown in advance, so it is necessary to automatically adjust infer the value of n from the training data. The second issue is about code vocabulary, the definition of code vocabulary. In some applications, n gram models should be able to directly deal with musical notes. For example, please imagine application of code progression analysis to music transcription. Where typically a code vocabulary is not given. <coughs> so basically, a polyphonic audio signal <coughs> are converted into no musical, musical notes by using acoustic modeling. Furthermore, we plan to incorporate, ran, incorporate a language model to improve the accuracy of music transcription. Here, codes do not correspond to conventional code levels because we, do, we, ass, we assume conventional code levels are not given. In such application, such musical units, not conventional code levels, should be self-organized from the training data. So, yeah, uh, in, in this study, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we aim to uh, propose a vocabulary-free uh, engram model. Our approach is to formulate a non-parametric Bayesian N-gram model for code sequences. Basically, basically, we use a generative model of N-grams proposed by Te in 2006 for performing 
principled smoothing of n-gram probability distributions. And in order to avoid specifying the value of n, we have to take all possibilities of n into account. So the an important thing is uh, it is uh, that this model does not uniquely determine the value of n. Always, all possibilities of n are considered. And uh, in addition, uh, to uh, <coughs> propose a model uh, in which any node combinations are allowed, allowed to form codes. This model is similar in spirit to Mochihashi's method, where any letter sequences are allowed to form words. This model uh, was proposed in the field of computational linguistics. As a result, uh, our model is an infinite order, infinite <coughs> vocabulary model. First of all, uh, we have to explain the Pitmeyer process, which is a prior distribution on distributions. This is a very important building block for non-parametric Bayesian Edgar models. The Pitmeyer process has three parameters, discounting, interpolation, and the base measure. And the Pitmeyer process uh, can be interpreted <coughs> as a black box system, and that takes uh, any any distribution as input and generate a different but somewhat similar distribution as output. The difference uh, between these two distributions is controlled by the two parameters, discounting parameter and the interpolation parameter. So by using this uh, by using the Pitmeyer process, we can formulate a generator model of n-gram distributions. In this figure, the trigram distribution is, of course, different <coughs> from the bigram distribution. However, we can assume the trigram distribution is similar to bigram distribution because they share the same context, in this case, D7. Therefore, uh, we assume the trigram distribution is ne generated according to the Pitmeyer process, whose base measure is the bigram distribution. <coughs> by, by defining such a recursive process, we finally reach to the zero-gram distribution, which is usually set to <coughs> a uniform distribution. By correcting all Pitmeyer processes, the hierarchical Pitmeyer Ranges model was proposed by K in 2006. In this figure, G0 is a uniform distribution over all codes. In this case, codes mean conventional code levels. So the vocabulary size is finite. Then, for example, uh, to predict Next code W, given precedent codes C major, F major, we backtrack the context to a certain depth. In this case, n is equal to 3. So the pre that predictive distribution is obtained from that uh, this, uh, this probability distribution. And to take into account all possibilities of n, the variable order Pitmeyer Ranges model was proposed by Mochihashi. This model can be represented <coughs> as an infinitely deep tree because the n, the value of n may be infinite. For example, to predict next code w, we backtrack the context unboundedly. This means we descend the tree infinitely. And it is important to, uh, this model does not uniquely <coughs> determine the value of n. This means that the, that predictive distribution is an infinite mixture model of all n-gram all n -gram distributions. And 
Finally, we propose a vocabulary free infinite <coughs> model. In computational studies, a code vocabulary consists of code levels, C major, D minor, and something like that. On the other hand, we propose component based representation of codes. For example, C major is converted into <coughs> a combination of a root node and 12 dimensional binary vector whose elements correspond to the existences of the corresponding degrees. By using this notation, any node combinations can be, represent, can be represented. Even if uh, some uh, even if some, uh, even if uh, node combinations are not defined as co conventional code levels, and important thing is that an infinite vocabulary model can be easily obtained if we use integer values instead of binary values to indicate the number of degrees in included in a code. This is very important in application of such models to music transcription. By using this notation, we propose a generative model of zero-gram distribution over all node combinations. This is not over all, all code levels. So this, this indicates that our model it's much more precise compared to the uniform distribution. Here we report our experiments. D the data we used are, were code, code annotations on the Beatles songs. We selected 170, uh, 179 major scale songs and transposed them to C major, C major scale. The total number of codes are 10,761. And we tested six methods. Two methods are two methods are empirically known as best smoothing methods, IKN and MKN. And we tested four non-parametric vision models. HPYLM and VPYLM and our vocabulary free extensions to such no parametric vision N1 models. This video shows test set perplexities for Beatles songs. Our vocabulary free extension our, our vocabulary free extension models uh, could can significantly improve test tested test, perplexity. In addition, we tested our model by using automatic code recognition result obtained by Matthias Mauss method. In this case, the public, the vocabulary free infinity gram model, this one, uh, is the publicity of uh, 22 and the best publicity among these, me these six methods. And the infinity gram model can discover code idioms, which are stochastically coherent code patterns appearing in training data. Uh, this can be achieved by uh, uh, evaluating the generative probabilities of variable length code patterns. So please listen. Uh, okay. You can plug in if you want. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Okay, so no, try it, try it, it might work, it depends on the laptop. No, no, try it, try it. Okay. 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 Okay